what's happening gamers welcome to chicken wiggle developed by our friend jules now part of i believe it's called a toey or at or whatever a uh, former renegade kid and uh, they made a lot of games that amber and i used to cover like Zeo Drifter, which I couldn't finish. Zeo mutant Drifter. Muds. Super Mutant Muds. <laughs> yeah. And uh, some really cool games that we, we looked at Jules. for the DS, like Moon and ATV yeah. and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and we love Renegade Kids, so. Yeah, we're so, so this is, to this look is at Jules' this. baby, and uh, we're pretty excited to look yeah. at it. So it looks like that's a crazy witch attacking chickens. Oh no! Or some types of bird creatures, I don't know. Sadness, the terrible witch. I love the expression of the bird. He's like, hey, where'd my friends go, yo? Took, took him out of his home. Let's team up and rescue everyone from this witch. Simplistic storytelling. I like it. Me too. Teamwork. It's like two seconds of story into the into the game. You, you can, can do amazing things when you work together. That is so true. Wait, this is the tutorial? Okay, so up oh, and nice. wide. So B jumps. Neat. So that so it's kind of like us, K-Wing, but I'm the worm and you're the bird. It wouldn't be the other way around. I, oh, wait. It, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. But you think about it, a bird would usually eat a worm. So what I'm liking <laughs> about this right now is it's pretty self-explanatory, like mutant muds. Like mm -hmm. the, I mean, they jump you right into the game, but they keep the uh, tutorial very brief. Yeah. So you can just this is the core mechanics of the game. This is how it works, and then boom. Let's jump into the game. Is there a reason I'm smiling already and that we're just into the game? It's just so It's Jules, cute. Amber, that's why. I know, he's you so You loved Mutant Muds. And so. he's such a nice guy. Like, he's so, just so nice. Every time, like, we're, you know, at a convention or something, he just takes time to talk with us. He's so, like, passionate about his games. Like, it's like, I don't know, it's just so much fun. So, I can't wait to see more of this game. Oh, so all I have to do is walk so, up to this bat creature and I peck them and they die. Yeah, That's you can pretty peck funny. them or your worm can do like the earthworm gym thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, I like that the fact that the worm is used to latch on to stuff and it can also be used <laughs> to daze enemies. And then I come in for the kill with my beak and just peck them. It's like, yeah. yes, that's satisfying. That's awesome. Tag team attack. And in order to uh, get achievements and stuff like that, it looks like the special items that you get in this game are labeled FUN, F-U-N. Oh. Yes, I, I know how to spell FUN. Oh, okay, so it's just letting you know, reminding you, just in case you didn't know, this game is fun. I forgot what DLC is called again. <laughs> I have to go watch uh, somebody's video and learn what yeah. downloadable content is. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway... What I like about this game right away is you know that parts of this game is going to be mind-numbingly difficult, but at the same time, it's hard for you to get mad at the game because of its aesthetics, how it looks. You know, yeah. it's just like this bright, happy world with this expressive chicken, and it's just like, hey, Yay. I'm cute, and you're just going to have to deal with it, yo. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm pecking this guy, and he's not opening up. Hey, come on, buddy. I Don't just, you want out of your cage? I didn't know that birds had backpacks. I mean, that's new to me. He's a backpacking bird of justice. Hey, you saved me. Excellent. Oh. oh that's awesome. I all like right. that. All right, all right. This game is like 10 million times cooler now because of that excellent there. I like the, <laughs> the art style and just like, it's so cool. I, I wasn't expecting, when I first played Mutant Muds, I was just like, all right, this is interesting. Ooh, hero mask. You can fly all over now? Okay. What? When you have a hero mask, I guess. Okay, so there's power-ups oh, in this game, too? okay. All right, all right. <gasps> You're super bird! Well, da -da -da. I'm kind of flying like Kirby right now. But yeah, I, I was just like, like when we first saw Mutant Muds, I think it was several years ago. It would have been like five, six, seven years ago. Like, we were blown away by it. We're like, what? This, this game's going to be on the DS or the 3DS? It's like, no way. Mm -hmm. It's like, indie developers just really, whoa, came into their own with, uh... Ah, what are you oh, doing? you got in a current. Ah. It's an air current. You have I, to I don't like that. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, have you never been a bird and flew through the air No, before? I've never been a bird that wears a mask. <laughs> Super bird! Who is that masked bird? And, uh, Jules, I apologize if I can't say the name of your new company. I'm bad with company I, names. I didn't even get a chance to try to pronounce it because you I wanna, didn't even you wanna, see it. You want to give it a shot? Well, it's I can't even see it, the words. A-T-O-O-I. 
What was it? A T O O I. A a Tui. Yeah, might be. Something cute, happy. I'm like gonna say a Tui. And as far as I know, this is the first game that they've released under their new company logo, like the the new branch. Oh. Okay. See, Renegade Kid is essentially around, but not really, because they split into two divisions: the 2D games and then mm-hmm. the 3D games are a completely different company. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Yeah. You know I'm gonna not pass up saying that. Every yeah, time. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know. You just you love the fact that this is just a bright, happy game. I love bright and happy things. You can definitely see a mean mud's influence on this too. Oh, definitely. Like the with the platforming style. and stuff like that. For some reason, the games that um, Jules makes is like so. I don't know, just so like it's so much like characters coming out of this bird expression and everything. Like with just a just a few, you know, he's not too complicated, but he's just so happy. And the worm also kind of has some attitude, and he's also <laughs> he's pretty cool. You know, he's just kind of sitting back there. He's like, I know I'm going to be used as a projectile to attack enemies and <laughs> hang from like, ledges, but it's, it's like, good. let's do this. <laughs> yeah, he blinks. The worm is blinking too. Yeah, they're all blinking. Yeah. And I need to see if I can get some cool... Because uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do for a thumbnail for this, because I want to capture the cuteness. Yeah, you, it's, But also the ruthlessness of, like, a bird <laughs> throwing a worm at people and having it... I don't know if it's even possible to capture the cuteness no. of what's going on right now, but, yeah. But it almost looks like the bird has a mohawk, because it has that worm. Oh, yeah. You know, so when it's walking sometimes, or... Okay, so <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that's, that's he does look like that. Mohawk bird. Or a fin. <laughs> On his head. Yeah. So, I'm not going to promise that we're going to be able to finish Jules game because he knows, and I don't think he does this on purpose, but <laughs> I have finished very few of Gee, Jules' creations, <laughs> whether yeah. it's Super Mutant Muds, Mutant Muds, or the CEO Drifter. It's fine. Uh, I, I couldn't. But either. I can't either, Luke. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm going to play it for as long as we can. As far as we possibly can. So this is not a walkthrough. This is a playthrough. Yes. That means when I fail, I can stop at any time. Yeah, exactly. But you guys can always use this for, like, reference that, uh, oh, the K-Wings aren't going to do another Let's Play. It's like, I don't know if I can. I mean... Sometimes yeah. these games, man, these these indie games, they really, they start out like, oh, this is the simple mechanics of throwing the worm around and using your beak to break stuff, and then they're going to add crazy stuff later, like you watch lava and, like, uh, death traps and disappearing blocks, and he, he's going to throw out all the stops at me. You know he is. Uh, this, this is, is the that's what of, he does. Yeah. This is just the intro. This the, is just like, hey. This is going to be a nice, fun, happy ride, and then <laughs> death! These are the kind of games that are meant to uh, separate the men from the boys, gamers, I guess. <laughs> or whatever they now, say. Now, one of the games that I know he was obsessed over, because I, I follow his Twitter and stuff like that. Ah, from stuff! Oh. Touch an enemy and die. One hit, one kill. Jules! But um, one mm-hmm. thing that he was obsessed over that I found interesting was uh, Mario Maker. Oh. At least I think it was called the Mario Maker. Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was it Mario was Maker. Mario Maker. But, like, the level creation aspect. And we are um, going to play, like, the actual game first, but there is a level editor in this. So it's, like, two games in one. It's the level editor. It's a its own story that was created oh. by the developer. Oh, cool. Level editor. And then you have a level editor where you can go ahead and make your own crazy creations like Mario Maker. Crazy. That sounds pretty great. So if you don't want Amber to make levels because that's that's horrifying. That'll take like a year to make. Well, not only will it take a year, but you're just gonna troll like <laughs> to death whoever attempts your thing. I remember yeah. your Disney toy boxes. Some of that yeah, was just mean. I do. I do like making. Well, I like laughing maniacally while I make them, and then going, ha, 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 "No one will ever do this." <laughs> but I'll be nice. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, it, it kind of, like, looks like, especially when he shoots the worm up, and I'm, I might be weird oh, wow. in this aspect, but when I was a kid, weird. the Batman animated series oh, game on the gosh. Super Nintendo, when Batman would shoot his grapple, <laughs> he would stand straight like that and shoot it up in the air. So you're saying this bird is Batman. I'm saying it reminds <laughs> me of, like, both the Batman Game Boy game with the grappling mechanics and the Super Nintendo Batman game. Oh, okay. he would he would stand there and shoot it above his head like wow. that. Wow. Excellent. So, the, excellent. Get it right, Kiwing. 
Am I uh, scrambling you up a little bit there? Yeah, you're you're making me frazzled and scrambled. A little fried. See, uh, see what I did there? Yeah. I like how he's playing that stuff. You're getting my feathers ruffled. I would like to see us as cosplay of uh, as chicken a chicken wiggle and yeah. a worm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'd probably be a worm. You could call dibs on the bird. No, you seem to want me to be the bird. How would you look as a worm? It'd be like, you'd be like, look like worms from Jim. Just give me sunglasses, like my Metopia <laughs> character. <laughs> so I'd be the bird and you'd be the worm. Okay, I see. Actually, uh, some guy on Twitter made uh, some really cool Metopia art featuring our K Wings LP character. Oh, wow. And uh, actually, it looked pretty cool. So I was like, yeah, I wear my sunglasses all the time. It's like, maybe that should have been my thing. I should have been sunglass YouTuber. That should have yeah. been my niche. Because I used to wear sunglasses, like, all the time. You could still do it. Oh. You could start it now, Luke. Ah. People recreate themselves all the time. So long, ghosty. Yeah, I for almost, the next ten years, I'll just wear sunglasses all the I, time. I always think about mixing it up on my channel. Like, if I stream or something, I'm, a, I'm always thinking, like, hmm, maybe I should get, like, a cool anime, like, wig or something and a pink hair or something. I don't know, randomly. Maybe. But, yeah, like, I... Yeah, the sunglass thing would be cool. Oh, this I, is, I, I don't think I stand up a ghost of a chance in this level. No, what Look, about he's sad. He's like, oh, Aww. I don't know what I'm doing. I think having a cat sitting on my head or, or my shoulder would be a cool accessory. Of like a, a cat. I don't pose. know. This is making me want to go out, find my own worm, and use it as a grappling hook. <laughs> <laughs> See if it'd be possible. <laughs> oh no. Run! I think everyone needs a worm that's their best friend. Okay, so we can't attack the ghost, but that's just. <laughs> That's, yeah, they're ghosts. <laughs> you just, I feel like I would be the worm because whenever you need something, like I have to go check the box. <gasps> no! Or, oh, sadness. Or I have to go check GameStop to make sure there's a game. Oh, yeah. Thank Sorry. God for checkpoints. Yeah, thank goodness. Or in this game, checkpoint signs. Oh, like, like I was saying, I think I would be the worm because whenever you need me to go do something or grab you something, it's like I have to go grab it, so I'm like the worm because I'm like the little gopher. This worm kind of does Go for worm. Yeah. But yeah, I think you would look cute as a worm in cosplay. Then I could be the bird. Yeah. I don't know. Well, the bird has, from the looks of it, different costumes or powers that it gets. Oh, cool. But I mean... You can't use the powers whenever you want. It depends on what the level mechanic <laughs> of the stage is going to be. I don't know why, but I'm picturing me as the bird with a backpack and tiny version of you sticking your head out of the backpack like as a worm. With my goatee and sunglasses? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't right. know. Oh, my gosh. That'd be cool. Oh, man, Luke, you really got me <laughs> picturing something <laughs> weird now. I tend to do that. Oh, man. Now, I wonder if we can actually hang on invisible blocks like that. Let's give it a shot. Um, I don't know. Because there's something up there. I can feel it in my chicken bones. But there's something incredibly dangerous or awesome up there. Yeah, I don't oh. know if chicken bones are that uh, stable. Right. They're kind of, like, easily broken. Wait for it, and... Go! Yes! Whoa! I know, right? Invisible. That was awesome. That was amazing. Invisible block power, activate. Looks and we found our little chicken friend. Hey! He's so happy. Excellent! Excellent. Excellent. What? Egg, X, whatever, same thing. You have to, you have to put the word egg in there. Whatever. Get it right, What are, what are you, um, egg... Egghead? Like a <laughs> Batman villain? Yeah, I am. I'm Egghead, the Batman villain. Say what you will about our Pikmin series, but you have to admit that those cutouts <laughs> that I made came in handy for other games. Like yes, this! totally. And I finally got rid of that little bump that I was, like, looking at the whole time on the Pikmin series. Amber was obsessing over uh, <laughs> so some, some small bump in the uh, layout that I made. And she was like, I gotta get you bump! It's like, no, I, it, I can't even see it. what you're talking about. It's there, and it bugs me. It bothered me the whole time. <gasps> ah! Ah! Why? And they play sad music like, your bird died, I'm sorry. There's something to tell you. The bird didn't make it. But I mean, this bird is ruthless. Not only does he stun things with his worm, but then he comes in and pecks you to death. 
He's like, yeah. ha ha ha! I'm not to be taken lightly, Peck. Because, I mean, he's using his beak. I mean, what is that thing made of? It's gotta yeah. be like a beak of steel or titanium or something. I know. Because it breaks blocks, it destroys enemies in one hit. It's like a monster bird. Yeah. <gasps> no! And he looks so sad when he hits the spikes. He's like, I don't want to go. Oh, I don't want to leave. David Tennant is chicken. Yeah. Wiggles. Oh my gosh. Well, he is a bird now, so. Yeah, he is Scrooge McDuck. Indeed. If they were is. looking for a Scottish actor to play a Scrooge McDuck, they should have given me a shot. Except I'm an Irish uh, guy, not an actor, but. Oh uh, yeah, I I I'm gonna say David Tennant's Scottish accent is amazing. But well, you know that um, Alan Young wasn't Scottish at all. Really? Nope, he was just a really great actor. Wow. Yep. Nope, oh, there's something up here. I can't believe that. See, that's how you spell fun, kids. F-U-N. Really? Fun. He wasn't Scottish? He wasn't Scottish. Excellent. Oh, I do... He have... was also on a talking horse. Oh, yeah. Wilbur. Well, I love... I like David Tennant as Scrooge, but I have to say that, uh, yeah, the original Scrooge... Alan Young. Alan Young... He was amazing. Oh my gosh, he had so much heart in his voice, like, you just, he cared so much for Huey, Dewey, and Louie. So, we actually finally watched uh, the uh, new pilot for DuckTales, and Amber and I are divided uh, on our thoughts on it. I think that for a reboot, it's not bad, but she's just, like, original all the way. It's, it bothered, so many things bothered me. I felt like the kids were disrespectful to Uncle Scrooge, and I was really annoyed by that, and then also... They don't even sound like kids. They're like adults. But yeah, I liked how all the the kids sounded the same. It also took them a long time to bring the junior woodchuck oh, manual into it. I know. But right? there were some things that fans are eating up, like the fact that it said Saint Canard, which is Darkwing Duck's territory. So everybody's oh. like, Darkwing Duck. But you guys have to realize that what they could be doing is they could be teasing you because they say Gotham and Bloodhaven all the time in the CW universe, and Nightwing oh, and Batman right. have never showed up. So yeah. they could just be, like, it could, it could be pulling totally a CW easy. on you guys. Like, oh, yeah, Darkwing well, Duck exists in this universe. Uh, Not. The thing that I think blast. is great about the show what? is Donald is terrific. And I don't think they could have gotten a better replacement for Alan Young than David Tennant. Although... I don't think he compares to Alan Young at all. No, of course not, but, but he's doing his own thing. He's I playing think, a younger Uncle Scrooge. But uh, I think Donald Duck, the voice of Donald Duck, sounds fantastic. I can't it's even, the same guy. I can't even believe that guy's still around. I, I Nobody can do it like him. He is I really thought that he played Huey, Dewey, and Louie back in the day, though, he, for DuckTales. He, he might have. I don't know. I, love, I miss Huey, Dewey, and Louie so much. I mean, you can I'm definitely sorry, tell the distinction yeah. between the nephews now, but <laughs> yeah, they, I, don't, I like, they just kind of like sound the like better. they sound like adults talking in children's bodies. This <laughs> is really freaking me Sassy out. Sassy children. Sassy like Sassy thirty-year-olds. Uh, he does. Hey, like Uncle that. Scrooge. I'm Huey. Yeah. Not Howard. I know. And the jokes felt forced a little bit. Launchpad was really funny. He was the only one that like really made us laugh yeah. out loud. And Scrooge. But I wish they had the original Launchpad. He actually tried to get the part in it, but they said no. That's they wanted really an all new cast, so that meant all new cast. All new cast, but they had Donald. Donald. Yeah. So that's not new. I'd be like. But what? technically, Donald only appeared in a couple episodes. Like, whereas in this one, he is going to be a main character. So that's oh, different right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see what you're saying. And that was a piece of cake. Oh, I think they should have definitely had Launchpad in there, because the Launchpad doesn't sound... Yay! Yeah, very great. I loved the original Launchpad. Gee, Mr. McD. Yeah, he just doesn't sound like Launchpad anymore. There we go. I actually completed the level 100% while talking about DuckTales. Egg Excellent. <laughs> Excelsior. Oh, no. No, no that's, that's the other one. So, um, because this is an indie game, guys and gals, uh, we're just going to be releasing this very early in the morning until we get to a point where I get stuck. Yeah, um, because we don't want you guys to notice too much when we fail <clears throat> miserably and just pretend that we never did it. Like, oh, didn't you guys start that and not finish it? Uh, no. No, but uh, this yeah. game is currently out on the Nintendo 3DS eShop. I strongly 
I suggest you guys pick it up. It is an amazing game. It's done by a personal friend of ours who's a great indie developer, and uh, we love his work, so we were very thrilled to look at Chicken Wiggle, and uh, the game is really fun so far, but I just have a bad feeling that he's going to up the ante very soon. But anyway, guys and gals, don't forget to match that like button for Chicken Wiggle. God bless, happy gaming, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the Let's Play channel with something else later today. Bye bye See ya! Have an excellent day. Oh.